Hello. Hi. Hello. So, it's Michelle. Yeah. We invite we invited you to the PAC today to acknowledge your continuous efforts for the benefit of residents and staff of Woodland Pond. Since COVID-19 arrived, you have had to make difficult decisions, sometimes unpopular decisions. <laughs> Without the benefit of a guidebook or previous pandemic experience. We have watched with admiration as you have anticipated and coped with so many added challenges. This led us to draft and send the following letter. So Michelle. The short mic is for me. <laughs> Dear Governor Cuomo. Yes. Aww. As you have noted, nursing homes and senior communities have been hard hit by the COVID-19 pandemic. We write you today to tell you of a different story, a success story in one continuing care community. Our community at Woodland Pond is located in New Paltz, New York. We have approximately 300 residents at Woodland Pond with independent living, a nursing home, assisted living, and a memory care unit. We want to tell you about an exemplary management team led by our CEO, Michelle Gramolia. We would like to nominate her and her team for a commendation from New York State. From day one, this team has been proactive rather than reactive. In early March, the community was closed to visitors and measures were put in place to protect all areas of the community. Communication to the residents about the transition has been clear, timely, and transparent. Overnight, they revamped how all levels of care were handled. Our community dining room was closed and individual food delivery was instituted. Mrs. Gramolia and her team recruited independent living residents to act as volunteers, volunteer deputies to help with delivery of meals, packages, newspapers, and groceries. This measure would limit the congregating of residents at the front desk. All staff and others entering into the community were screened regarding symptoms, exposure, and temperature. This was instituted before it was mandated. Every day, a new memo came out informing us of how familiar services would be adjusted to protect us. We were informed re re weekly regarding positive COVID tests within our community. To date, we have only had a few positive tests in asymptomatic staff members. To date, none of our nursing home, assisted living, memory care, or independent living residents have tested positive. A cadre of residents who had sewing skills was created and hundreds of cotton masks were sewn and distributed. Every day, thoughtful measures were taken to help us cope with the isolation and keep residents engaged. Staff initially did grocery shopping and then residents were assisted in transitioning to online grocery shopping and delivery. Restaurants in the area were supported with a weekly delivered restaurant meal option. The dining room chef and director of dining services left cookies on the shelves outside our apartments, stating they missed seeing all of us in the dining room. Flowers appeared on shelves donated by the Mohonk Mountain House and arranged by volunteer residents who delivered them individually to all 300 residents. Our monthly calendar of activities was transitioned to our connected living channel when feasible. Residents volunteered to entertain our residents with interviews, readings, and musical performances on the Connected Living Channel. This type of collective response does not happen without good leadership and a willing and caring management team. As you know, in difficult times, we see the best and worst in people. We have seen good leaders take the reins and do the best they can. You are one of those leaders, and we are thankful for all you have done for New York. Michelle Gramolia is also one of those leaders. We respectfully request recognition of her and her staff. The words of Charles Dickens seem particularly appropriate at this time. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times, it was the age of wisdom, it was the age of foolishness. It was the epic of belief, it was the epic of incredulity. It was the season of light, it was the season of darkness, it was the spring of hope. 
It was the winter of despair. We had everything before us. We had nothing before us. We were all going direct to heaven. We were all going direct the other way. Thank you for your kind consideration of our request. Sincerely, the residents, council, and residents of Woodland Pond, the members of the resident council at Woodland Pond, Nadine Lamone, chair of the Woodland Pond Board of Directors. And now, Suzanne. The response came yesterday. <laughs> this was sent on June 7th. <laughs> yeah, okay. Dated July 22nd, 2020. Dear friends, it is a pleasure to send greetings to the staff and residents of Woodland Pond Continuing Care Retirement Community. Since its inception, Woodland Pond has been making immeasurable difference in the lives of so many senior residents in Hudson Valley, providing for their physical and social needs through independent and assisted living programs. Woodland Pond offers outstanding supportive services, enabling seniors to live their golden years with dignity and independence. While many senior populations in nursing homes have been especially challenged during the COVID-19 crisis, which has threatened New Yorkers throughout this year, Woodland Pond's proactive measures have been exemplary. From closing the community to visitors at the outset of the outbreak, to revamping protocols and procedures, to clear, concise, and continuous communication, this facility seems to have done everything right, resulting in only a few positive tests among the staff. Congratulations to CEO Michelle Gramolia, the entire leadership team and staff at Woodland Pond, and to the residents as well. Your efforts are most appreciated. With warmest regards and best wishes for continued success, sincerely, Andrew Cuomo. Okay. Well, on, okay. on behalf of the Board of Directors, the Residents Council, and the residents of Woodland Pond, thank you, Michelle, for your efforts to keep us safe. Um, well, I'll, this is a short mic. Maybe I'll go to the tall mic. Um, so when, Susie, when Gretchen said that Suzanne wanted to talk to me today, I figured I was getting in trouble for something because I, I really feel like we are, you know, sort of butting up against a breaking point. And I, you know, I do know that the decisions that we've been making are in many ways unpopular, but I can't thank you all enough for taking this effort. This is the most meaningful thing that's, you know, happened to me, certainly in my professional career. Um, but I have to say, this is not just me by any means. And I, I'm so glad that you recognize the staff, but the residents have such a huge, huge role in this. When I, I feel that I'm so appreciative of this, but undeserving because this is nothing without everybody here. I mean, I, all of the decisions that we have made have been collective and collaborative. I've been honored to be able to be the person to help lead this ship through this crazy storm, but this is nothing without this community. And I hope that you all realize how remarkable it is here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, yes, I still cry. Um, but I, I'm so thankful to you all and I'm, so thankful that we're in this together and I you know I just think of the alternatives and I know we have a long way to go but this is absolutely amazing I, I would just sleep with it under my pillow <laughs> thank you very much